morning guys yes it's still the morning it's 10 past 11 hope you guys are keeping safe and well and welcome to another review from me matt the beauty berserker yeah it was an intro and a half wasn't it i hope you're keeping safe and well and not that we can really do much at the moment still being locked down here in the uk and still got snow which is an amazing thing for the west norfolk coast uh, yeah, I had to go out yesterday to do some shopping essentials from Sainsbury's, which is our local supermarket. And it was like a death trap. Every step I took, I could see my life flashing before my eyes. It was like some sort of really bad ice skating video. You know, I was walking like I had sort of like a walnut clench between my buttocks, which I know is not amazing thought for you guys to have or me to look like but yeah every step I took you could feel your kind of foot slipping away from underneath you so yeah what should have taken me sort of like 15 20 minutes took me an hour and a half walking like I don't know what an old person on a skating rink with no ice skates on was not a good look I uh, hope you guys are keeping safe and well as much as you can do trying to keep yourself occupied with this lockdown that's going off and thank you i say this each and every single time because i mean it without you guys i would not be here thank you for all the support over there thank you 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 and you at the back thank you so so much for all the support over there on instagram as viking beard mat and here on my beard of berserker youtube channel where it is a simple old fool sat here in front of his ipad uploading his video straight onto YouTube because if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be here. And the only reason I'm helping as much as an old man can support, promote and advertise only small brands, individuals and craftsmen is, is because I'm not really keen on huge, massive, faceless brands because let's face it, they've got enough cash that they can look after themselves that these smaller brands and craftsmen simply do not have, which is why I set this channel up to do what I can to help. If you are expecting a video with flashy graphics popping up and intros and outros and music, you're not getting it here because I have no real way of editing it and I have no, nothing that I do is scripted on this channel. I've got a few bullet points in front of me and so I make it up as I go along, pretty much the sort of same way that I live life. So yes. This morning's review has been very, very, very kindly sent through from Baird Bronze, who is based up in Fife. Where are we? North. That's that way, because sun rises in the east, sets in the west. North, south, east, right? Yeah. So based up north in Fife in Scotland. I love Scotland. Have you ever had it in life where you travel somewhere and you just kind of feel like at home there? I feel like that with Scotland. I know my ancestors came from Scotland, well, they came originally from Ireland, moved up through Wales and into Scotland, and then down for God knows whatever reason here into the UK. Every time we go to Scotland, I love it. And I'm going to be going up to Scotland as soon as lockdown ends, actually. Um, me and the wife are going to get some time off and do a road trip, got a couple of kilt makers to go and have a look around. And I don't, she's never been up to Scotland, so I thought it'd be nice just to do a bit of road trip, escape the house, Parents can look after the dogs and yeah, have a bit of time out. Um, I actually do have my own family tartan, which is horrible. It's like uh, my ancestors got extremely drunk one night and then decided to try and include every single colour under the sun into a tartan and it looked horrible. But in order to pay homage to my ancestors, I do obviously wear kilts and other tartans. But many, many kilts. I love the whole the thing that I like about Scotland is they love their culture you know I love the scenery up there I love the people up there and you, you don't really get that so people aren't really proud to be British if you know what I mean it's kind of apart from the stiff upper lip culture well, just people that have lived and people that have died but up there I know the clan system and everything was sort of kicked out hundreds of years ago and everything but they got such a pride in their culture and it's so nice to see when people are really proud of where they are where they come from and everything so anyway i received a letter with today's review this is a letter i know it's a letter because i'm of that age that i can apparently read not so good with joined up writing 
but I do actually keep all these letters and stuff that get sent through with the reviews that I do actually keep in a little box because it'd be nice in when I'm older in life and more senile to look back at them and go, what was that from? So anyway, hi Matt, I'm John. Not I'm John, he is John, I'm Matt. Hi Matt, I'm John at Bard Baird Bronze. B-A-I-R-D, bronze. And also, before we get started, please show these guys some support. They are a family group that create amazing jewellery. They only have 135 Instagram followers. And I've never asked you guys in any videos before, but please give these guys a follow. They've only got 135 followers. And for the products they're creating, it's, they should have way more than what they have got. But anyway, I'm John of Baird Bronze. Uh, sorry about the delay in getting these two. It's no problem. I'm not going anywhere because I'm on lockdown. But we hope you enjoy them. I thought uh, we would send you a wee bit of info about us and what we do. I remember when Scottish writers bring out another wee bit of info. Uh, we're a small family business in Fife in Scotland, like I told you. Um, here at Baird Bronze, our aims is, aim is to create unique jewellery and accessories. Uh, with the best quality materials made by hand using only hand tools, no Dremels in sight. And they've actually written that in there, not a Dremel in sight. We hope our products have the um, abilities, looks like abilities and qualities to become heirloom pieces to be kept and enjoyed by generations. From start to finish, there is near sign or production. That's how they wrote it, near sign or production. The materials used to create each piece are selected and cut individually by sight. The bronze is then shaped and work hardened using a hammer and anvil before going on to be paint, uh, patinated. I nearly said painted, but it's definitely patinated. And then finally given a coat of a Renaissance wax. My face could do with a coat of Renaissance wax. I need some help. Um, before being packaged and delivered to you, we pride care and love if you need any more info please let me know uh, by phone just give me his phone numbers which i'm not going to give to you guys or email john.williamson double l uh, 1313 at gmail.com kindest regards john thank you so so much for the letter and just to let you know as well this isn't the final packaging that they're going to be doing their products in because they've got stickers coming through and business cards also sent me through some more notes on me phone me old phone for bad bronze. Da, 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 going back. Uh, just in case some more info would be useful, the company was founded and is run by John, who creates all of the products by hand. Social media and branding is ran by uh, myself, and my name is Ricky. Not my name, but his name is Ricky. It's a family business. As you know, we officially launched in January this year. And since then, I have been trying to find our feet. So we're hoping that this review will boost our following and increase the hype about Baird Bronze. There is options to buy gift cards on the website of varying costs, options to have personalised items created. There's reviews from customers on the website. And for all first-time customers, use the code BRANDSNEW, all capitals, um, at checkout for free shipping. So they've very kindly sent through four kilt pins that they've made. Um, one kind of broke stroke kilt pin, Viking style kilt pin. For me to have a look at, see what I think of, give you guys my honest opinion. Straight off the bat, these are stunning. Now I've got a lot of kilts, therefore I own a lot of kilt, kilt pins. Um, I've actually got two really nice kilt pins uh, that I save for best, which are the vintage style um, grouse feet ones. Say them for best. I've got a white one for the wife that she wears on a shawl, and I've got a sort of grey colour one. But they're very kindly sent through four pins for me to have a look at, see what I think of, give you guys my honest opinion. Now they create pendants, they create brooches, uh, necklaces, bracelets, pretty much anything, and it can all be customised. Everything that they used is sort of like low, um, they're undyed gemstones and locally sourced bronze. Everything is handmade, and these are stunning. Like I say, I've got a little, lot of kill pins, you know, 14, 15, no, probably more along the line of 20 kill pins. And these are truly beautiful. So starting off, we have this one. 
which is bronze with a tiger eye stone in it and just the craftsmanship i really hope this camera is doing this justice bearing in mind old fool and ipad but it is beautiful i i wear a lot of weather kilts i've got some really nice dress kilts um but i like sort of my day kilts you know leather spar uh, brown leather sparrows and brown brogues and everything and the work God, do people do that online i don't know what that does it's like look at the hand look at my hand but hopefully that's focusing on that it is simply beautiful i love the fact that with this the time the effort everything has been created by hand no two pieces are the same the pin on it is spring like pre-sprung loaded so it's not like the old style traditional kilt pins like almost like a nappy big nappy pin this has actually been built from scratch from bronze it's just beautiful it's it's more in my opinion for what it's worth simple old man um it's more artwork than it if that makes sense it's artwork as well as functional work so that is that one which is bronze and tiger eye tiger eye yeah, tiger eye camera eyes over there i didn't see that uh come in a padded little brown box as well like i say they are putting stickers and business cards also they've sent through another one this one is bronze and dragon blood jasper slightly smaller pen than the other one probably around about two two and a half inches and it's just the work that's gone into them almost kind of like a shame to put them on a kilt but it's these are going to be one of those things that yes i would wear them as a weathered with my sort of more muted colors should i say my weathered tartans but these would look just as good as kind of like a proper bit of kind of proper nice kill bit you can use them as brooches hat pins whatever you like with fork and like i say this one is the bronze dragon's blood and jasper just truly 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 beautiful this one here um which is the bronze and red jasper just the designs that they come out with just I love it because with kilt pins, apart from the traditional ones, and I suppose to a certain degree you can wear just about anything as a kilt pin because it's just there. There's a bit of added, added bling to kind of help hold the front apron down. Um, but it's always that kind of the sword with the thistle on it, with the deer skull on it, or rampant lion or something like that. And it's so, so nice to see something artisan and different. With, and these are talking talking points you know because nobody else is going to have seen them it's not like you can just oh yeah get on ebay and find one of these again they're all bespoke all handmade and when he said what sort of thing do you like i said you're the craftsman leave it entirely up to you and what he's created is absolutely beautiful i've sat here fiddling with them looking at them looking for weak points and everything and there is not one they are a work of art and I can see when they said about an heirloom that can be passed down from generation to generation unfortunately I don't have any generations apart from my sister um, but and this one is the penanula brooch can be worn for all sorts of things hats not necessarily hats but scarves and everything so the object with the idea with this one hopefully it's kind of almost like a dragon's head either either side. I picked up on that, or Tyr or Fenrir, or whatever. Kind of Viking cloak pin, scarf pin, kilt pin. Because there's just about anything is kilt pin nowadays as opposed to the original ones. So basically what you do with this, you flick it round this way. You put your fabric through here. You close it back up through there. And then you turn it so your fabric kind of like holds the whole thing locked if that makes sense um no, it's the other way around isn't it because i'm stupid so literally the fabric would go through like that and it holds it shut that way and it just the craftsmanship that has gone into this is truly truly beautiful i found no faults no problems customer service with them has been absolutely great 
And when it comes to the prices on them, we'll start with this one. The Penanula uh, brooch, £22. Fine. Dun, dun, dun. The bronze tiger eye kilt pin, or pin, brooch, whatever you want to use it for. Because don't forget, they made pendants, they made bracelets, necklaces, all sorts of bits and pieces out of bronze. This one is £27. Not a problem with that whatsoever. The bronze and red jasper. This one again is coming in at 27 quid. Dun, dun, dun. There with the old git. And this one, which is the bronze uh, dragon's blood jasper, again, 27 pounds. And I think, in my opinion, for what it's worth, they're absolutely stunning, you know. Sitting there thinking that John has literally sat there and he's crafted these from bits of bronze. I wouldn't know where to begin. I know what a kilt bin looks like. But that he's put his own sort of soul, his hard work into creating these. And for 27 quid for a kilt pin, that can be used as many other things, I know, that you can guarantee that no one else is going to have. No one else on this planet has got this kilt pin. So if you want to add a dash of artisan, top of the line craftsmanship to your kilt outfit, your hat, scarf, brooch, whatever you want to use it for, then look no further than bared bronze. What he is creating is absolutely amazing. I love the fact that the whole family's working together to create what they are creating. And just simply simply epic i love the kind of the kind of viking old celtic sort of feel and look to these i love even the kind of wiring on the back it's just meticulously done there's no jagged bits sticking out and it almost looks like a museum piece if that makes sense well it makes sense to me lots of things in life make sense but absolutely stunning stunning products uh, from Bear Bronze. Links down below in the website. Please show them some support. I mean, how can they only have 135 followers? I know they've only been going since January, but when they're creating pieces like this, and if you have a look on their Instagram, there's other examples of the stuff they've made, which are truly mind-blowing. Thank you so, so much to John and family for sending these through. Uh, don't forget, like I say, there is a link as well that you get free shipping. All these created by hand, no dremels, no power tools, literally anvils and hammers and stuff. Literally stunning, stunning, and it would be a pleasure to adorn any of my kilts with any of these and wear them with pride. Thank you so, so much to Bear Bron for sending these through. Truly, truly spectacular. Any comments down below, please comment. If you want to comment, comment down below because I do read and will respond to each and every single comment that is made. Thank you guys so, so much. If there is anybody out there that needs any help, support, promoting, whatever, just get in touch with me because I would love to hear from you. Really want to keep this channel going because without you, it's just a man talking to his iPad. So thank you guys, wherever you are, whatever you're getting up to in the world, keep on taking care of each other. Keep on helping and supporting each other. I nearly broke my finger then. And above all, keep on loving each other. You only live once. Make the most of it, guys. Stay safe. Take care. Love to each and every single one of you. Thank you.